Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, everybody. Two days in a row. Man, another another uh, video I'm sharing because I'm so inspired right now. Um, like I said before, whenever I'm inspired, I'm just going to come and share because I truly believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses all of us um, to be a benefit and a help uh, and a help and a and an aid to others. So I have been a speaker for a large part of my life and um, a teacher. Um, and I love teaching and I love guiding people and I love helping people, I always have. And so whenever I get like a little, you know, it, whenever I feel inspired, I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta share it. So this video is gonna be about the power of istikara. So for you guys who don't know about istikara, I'm sure most, most Muslims I know know about istikara, but if you're not using istikara, that's what we're gonna talk about. So istikara is a prayer, a dua that you make whenever you need to make a decision about anything and everything. And you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you want God to be, to literally make the decision for you. And what I've come to understand is his guidance is the ultimate guidance. His decision is the ultimate decision because we cannot see the future. We cannot see the insides of people. We can't see the character when we first meet people. We don't know people's backgrounds. People can tell us anything, right? Or it may not be about a potential mate, a potential suitor. It could be about a potential job that you want to make a staccara about because you don't know if that job or that business or that home or anything that is a major decision, even a minor decision. I find that I'm starting to make a staccara about everything. And I ask God to to literally steer steer my life, like steer the will for me. Keep me on the surat al-mustaqim, the straight path, and you make all the decisions for me. And I find that when I do that prayer, I get clear signs that this is this person is right for me, or this business is right for me, or this opportunity is right or not right for me. Sometimes what will happen is. Um, I'll give you a good example of when I made it recently. So I am looking for a new employee in my agency and I've been um, running the office pretty much by myself since I since I lost my last um, customer service rep and I didn't make Istakara on her. And that didn't last. That lasted for about a year. So this was the first time that I made Istakara. So I made Istakara and... Um, I first made this to Cara before I started the hiring process because I was like, show me the right person, put the right people in front of me, um, help me to have discernment around the person who's going to be the right fit for the agency, the right fit for my business. And in the duo, you can Google, you can Google the duo. It's called this to Cara. I I S T A K A R A H. You can Google it. But in the prayer, if you read the prayer, it's so powerful. The prayer is like, oh, Allah. You know, if this is best for me in re in regards to my religion, this life, the the dunya, the the next life, the akara, like like bring it to me, like bring it closer to me, or take it away from me, and then make me okay about it, and then bring me what's best for me. It's like I'm paraphrasing, but that's what the prayer is. So I, before I started hiring, the hiring process, I made istikara. And then I thought I'm gonna make istikara about every single person I interview. That's what I thought. So. I had probably like seven or eight different interviews set up. How about the first three interviews, the people didn't show up. So it was like, God was literally like, nope, we're clearing them off the slate. Like they're not even in consideration. Then um, I had like, what's that three? Then like three other interviews I did, um, I made a sakara about each person. I kind of knew, I kind of felt that it wasn't a right, like it wasn't a right fit, but I made a sakara anyway. And then um, I was able to be, I, I feel like I got my signs. Like look for the signs, ask for clear signs. I got my signs that those weren't the right people. So this last interview that I had recently, I did a sakara on. And, um, and I feel like I got a clear sign that this person is the one. So I would advise you guys to make a sakara about everything. Even before I got married, when I met my husband 20, alhamdulillah, 20 years ago, I made istikara on him. Um, I make istikara pretty much about everything now because I find that 
If you allow Allah to make decisions in your life for you, he will always, always, always make the right decisions. You may not because you're a human being. You may not. Sometimes your decisions come from wounds, <laughs> your own emotional wounds, your own traumas, your own insecurities, your own fears. We don't always make the best decisions for ourselves. So allow a law to make your decisions because those decisions will come from the most pure, beneficial place for you, for your Islam, for your for this life, for the good of this life, and for the good of the next life. He even tells us in the Quran to pray for the good of this life and the good of the next life. So we are allowed to have good in both both instances, right? Um, but yeah, I had something was I had a thought and it just left my brain. I wanted to come back. It, it left. But anyway, Google Istakata. Make that dua. It's like you do two rakats, so you do two rakats. Um, like if you would do fajr, you do two rakats. And then after you do your akats, you make the dua. And this dua is so powerful. And then ask for clear signs. Like ask God to give me clear signs so I can see um, beyond what I can see right now about this particular decision. And, um, and oh, this is what I was going to say. It just came back. Alhamdulillah. What I was going to say is be okay when things don't work out the way you think they're supposed to. Because in your mind, in your heart, in your head, you think this person is the right person for me, or this job is the right job for me, or I feel this house, this is the house I want, this is it, you know, or this is the car I want, this is it. But Allah knows best. So when something, if you've made a sakara about something and it doesn't work out, it is best for you. And, and the caveat is, and what is better for you is on the way. And you have to have patience. You know, we're taught in Islam a lot about sabr, patience. You have to have patience for what is good for you as it's coming, right? You have to submit to whatever the decree is because you don't know what's best for you. So if that relationship didn't work out or that job didn't work out or you didn't get the car you wanted or the house or whatever it is that you're praying about, it's because it's not best for you, okay? I hope that helps you guys. Um, I will come back the next time I'm inspired. I had to share that because I'm like, I got a clear sign today about this particular person. And I was like, Alhamdulillah. So again, Issachar is always, that prayer has always come through for me. That prayer has always blessed me with good or taken things from me that, that, that I didn't need, that I thought I needed or I thought I wanted, but weren't best for me. So trust in the prayer, trust in the law. And, um, and I hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you'll have a good weekend and I'll come back to you the next time I'm inspired. Assalamu